Anyone who knows me knows I love to travel. My cousin Bonnie called me Bill on the road again, Grella. I, uh, I love to stay in hotels and uh, I hear people say, uh, I, I'd rather get home rather than uh, stay in a hotel. And I, I'll never say that because I sleep better at home. I mean, at, at, on the hotel than I do at home. Now, uh, I travel for work sometimes and I travel for fun most of the time. Uh, I've, I've been able to stay at all kinds of hotels from the uh, luxury all the way down to the budget. And uh, over the last dozen or so years, most of my trips have been to go to restaurants that are featured on a show called Diners, Drivings, and Dives. I've been all over, I've been all over the country uh, to, to go to Triple D restaurants. And three weeks ago today, I went to my 1,000th uh, different Triple D restaurant. Now, uh, I... I've had all kinds of experiences and uh, good service and bad service in, in my hotel stays. And uh, I've traveled all over the country uh, to go to these restaurants. But there was one trip in particular that I'll never forget. Now it happened just last November. I was uh, going out west and I was going to uh, get to 22 different places uh, in, out in the Pacific Northwest area. So. My first stop was in Boise, Idaho, and that, that trip was, was great. I actually uh, had dinner with a friend uh, that I've known since second grade. And we went to a place there called the Basque Corner, which uh, I found out later that there's a huge Basque community in Boise, like who knew? From there I flew up to, uh, to Spokane, Washington, and I went to uh, places uh, in Spokane and in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, they were all really great, and I had good, had good service in the hotel, too. The, um, the one place I remember the, the best was a place called Waddell's, which is a sports bar that was named for a Hall of Fame baseball player, Rue Waddell, and was frequented by the late Don Larson. Now, Don Larson is the only pitcher to ever uh, throw a perfect game in the World Series. And from there, I, I went to Laramie, Wyoming. Now, as I was planning the trip in Laramie, I noticed that the um, hotels were a little bit more expensive than I really wanted to pay or the other places. So, um, so I looked and I, I got a, a, a budget place in a hotel chain that I had some, uh, some status with and, uh, and, and booked that. So the way to get from, from Spokane to uh, Laramie is to fly to Denver and then drive about two hours through the foothill of the Rockies, and it's a beautiful drive into Laramie. Now, I couldn't, as I said, I couldn't figure out why the hotels are so expensive. Now, Laramie is like a town that you might see in those old westerns. It's also the home of the University of Wyoming. And I was going to be there on a Thursday and Friday night in early November, so uh, there was no graduation going on, and the University of Wyoming football team was out of town, so. I guess Laramie is just more expensive. So after the drive, I got to the hotel about three in the afternoon. And I went to check in. And when I got to the door, it was locked. And I looked in the window, it was bolted locked on the inside. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I'm thinking, I know I don't have a place to stay for two nights in a town that the hotels are expensive. So I got back to the car, called the hotel, no answer. So I called the reservation system uh, for the, this hotel chain. And I, what ensued was about a 15 minute call where it was put on hold four or five times. So I explained them what, what the problem was. Then uh, I put on hold and, and the, the reservation guy came back and said, oh, we just talked to the manager and that is closed, it's under renovation. I said, yeah, I kind of figured that. He said, he said he sent you an email, and I said, no, he did not send me an email. I checked my emails, and I have not gotten one. So then began a negotiation for him to try and find a place for me to stay. And they were all two to three times more expensive than I was going to pay. So I kind of turned those down. Then he had one more little negotiation ploy. He said, we'll give you enough points on your, 
on, on your, your status there so that you can have one night uh, you need the points and the others will um, you'll have to pay the, 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 the rate. It was two times more than I was going to pay for the two nights. So we parted ways and I got on my phone, went to a hotel app, found a, a, a budget place that was about the same price. It's, not, it's with a, a chain that I don't normally use, but I needed a room, so I booked it. I booked a king room. So when I got to, the, to that hotel, which was only a five minute drive away, they said, we don't have the king room, we only have room to two beds. And I said, well, that's all right, all I need is really one bed. But then I thought about it and said, wait, I made this reservation 10 minutes ago, so you know, what gives with that? But I got my room, I went to my room, and there was a warm day in November in Laramie. So the first thing I did is turn the air conditioning on to cool the room down a little bit. And I turned the light on that was on the desk next to the, um, next, next to the uh, window and the, the air conditioning. And it was a dim 25 watt bulb. Oh great. So then I went, there was a lamp, uh, lamp fixture between the two beds, it didn't work. And there was a lamp post on the far end uh, by, the other, by the bed away from the window. And it almost fell apart when I, in my hands when I turned it on. So I'm not going to have any light, it looks like. Turn to, turn to go on the computer, turn the Wi-Fi on, no Wi-Fi. Then went to the TV, and it worked. But the list that they had in a, in, on the desk had like 70 channels, or like five of them worked. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what did I do to deserve this? But I had some places in Laramie to go, go check out. So I went out to do that, and the way out, I stopped at the front desk and explained to them what it was. And they said, well, we don't have any other rooms. I said, and they said, we can send maintenance over there to check it out. And I said, fine, I'm gonna be gone for like two and a half hours, so send them in. I really would like some light. So I came back about two, two and a half hours later and they had done nothing, nothing had changed. So no Thursday night football, uh, no reading on bed and uh, no using the computer. So I decided, well, let's go to bed early, I guess. So um, right when I was going to bed, the air conditioning went off. And it just got warmer and warmer. So after a really restless night, I woke up about five in the morning and said to myself, I have to get out of here. Maybe I'll just finish up everything I have to do this morning and this afternoon and I will find a place in Denver because I was flying out the next day. So uh, before I, I made the reservation, I went to the front desk and I told them that I needed to get back to Denver and I needed to, to uh, check out that day at about 11. And the guy said, that's no problem. You know, you get a receipt, we won't charge you. And he said, but I won't be there when you check out. I'm, I'm the midnight guy. Said, okay, fine. So 11 o'clock I went to check out. and. The person that was uh, working the front desk gave me a look like, people check out of hotels? Like, oh my gosh, here we go. And, and then she sighed and said, I can't check you out. Only my manager can check you out. I said, fine, is the manager here? No, she won't be here till about three. And I said, I have to wait for four hours to check out? And she sighed and said, well, I'll, I'll give her the information and she'll check you out. I said. Great. Here's my email address, here's my phone, here's the way to correspond with me, because I really want a receipt, because I, I don't want to have, pay for a night I'm not at. I was never so glad to get out of a place in my life. <laughs> to this day, I can't tell you uh, if I ever was charged, because I never received a receipt, never received any correspondences or anything. But uh, I was, as I said, I was glad to get out of there. and. Um, you know, people have said, when I, if I tell them a little bit about this, uh, well, was it worth the trip to go to Laramie? I said, absolutely. The restaurants were great there. The people were excellent. It's just the hotel wasn't, wasn't so great. Now, the, the place that I love the most, the restaurants were, were all great, but the one I really liked was a place called Wetzel's Wings. It was a food truck, and they, they uh, have buffalo-style wings. Now, they've gone to Buffalo, New York, and won the Buffalo Wing Festival at least four or five times. In fact, it's kind of a military uh, truck, and 
I was hoping that they'd put little bombs on the side for the times that they won. Now, it's their most popular wing is, is the, was the favorite of a guy named Josh Allen, who was a star quarterback at the University of Wyoming and is now the all-pro quarterback with the Buffalo Bills. So um, whenever I travel now, and if I have a not so great um, stay at a hotel or not so great service, I just think back because it can't be as bad as my stay in Laramie. <laughs> Thank you.